This is the Benjamin Zulu Global. Welcome our viewers from all over the world to the home of the heart moments. We are converging to learn together because when you know better, you can do better. And a better life is what we all want. Better work life, better family life, better personal life. Hi guys and welcome to the Benjamin Zulu show. My name is Lily and today we are talking about just looking at whether there is hope after infidelity. Infidelity is one of the things that really causes us a lot of pain. That and among other things will be discussed in our healing conference which is going to be at the Utali Hotel on the 10th of June. It's going to be running from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Lunch and beverages will be provided so please book a ticket through the WhatsApp number on the screen. That said, is there hope after infidelity? Now, that question should be answered by two people. Because okay. infidelity is involving a relationship of two people. Okay? Mm -hmm. um, and faithfulness is crossing the boundaries of trust in the marriage. Mm. And it involves what you are holding up. You violated it. So one person may want to have hope. The other one is not mm. giving the hope. So the question is duo. And the first way to answer it is to say, was the affair a unilateral decision or a symptom of other problems in the marriage? A spillover of dysfunction, mm -hmm. of other turmoils. This is not to say when there's turmoil, you should go and cheat. Correct. Cheating is a decision by the person, but mm. you can influence it. The atmosphere in the relationship mm. can influence. Okay. But remember when you get married, when you bring a person to your love life, you are installing them in your most sensitive part of your life. Your heart, your feelings, your vulnerability, your emotions, yeah. your hope, your dreams, your every the food you eat, how yeah. you sleep, with lights off, uh, door bolted, yeah. clothes off. So that vulnerable space is where you're planting a person. I don't know where people got the idea of casual. Cohabit, we are, we are testing this out. When you look at where that person is going, mm. to mix your essence with another person, that is the highest degree of involvement. Mm. And when you're with a person there, the, 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 the energy between you will affect you. Mm. And intentionally or intentionally, they will cause you to drift to the right or to the left. Okay. And before you can decide when it's time to call it quits, that tension in between there, mm -hmm. Remember, even if you're calling it quit, it's not just stepping out. Mm. That process is stressful. It is. Even if you, it's the other partner who is leaving, it still hurts like Yes. And hell. when you are the one who has called the break, you will still hurt. It's painful. We were saying the other day that divorce is like an amputation. Hey, yes. It, it's something, is, you cut something away that was dying to stop you from dying. Yeah. So that does not kill you. Mm. But the amputation is still painful. And you have to heal mm. and find another life. And I was telling one guy that, be careful. Sometimes, and I was asking him a philosophical question. Where do they take the parts? The parts that they cut people away? Is it that they conduct a mini burial? <laughs> <laughs> of the person when the rest of them is still alive? Mm -hmm. It can feel that way yeah. when you've divorced. Like a part of you has died. And if you're not careful to blossom again, Actually, your life may have died yeah. and you just continue to exist there. Like a zombie. Yes. There's a, there's a lady who died the other day from a divorce. She just died of depression. You know. Yeah. She did not take her own life. She just deteriorated and yeah. died post-divorce. This one died physically. Many other people die energy-wise. Yeah. They continue to live me mechanically. They walk in, in straight lines and just they are there. Walk, talk in monotone, don't cause trouble, don't ask for much, just do what they have to do, and, and that's all. A lot of people don't come back to life mm. after the trauma of divorce. Mm. Some people say, I didn't feel anything, I was already wanting out, because you had cried your tears while inside. Still, oh. you're very disorganized. Still, mm. you have to reintroduce yourself. And society does not help issues with all this stigmatization of a divorcee. Yeah. When you get divorced, don't carry that label. Don't, yes. Remain Benjamin, remain Lily, remain yourself. That's just part of your history. It's not part of your identity. Don't make divorce identity, just history. Yeah. 
you can go through it and wake up and learn and blossom after that. Mm. You can blossom. You can actually have a better life. Yes. You can have a better life because this time you are awake. You know what can go wrong. Yes. That before you are presumptuous. You thought you can change people. You thought you can yes. love people until they transform. Yes. You thought by just tolerating things they will go away. Yeah. You thought by just holding marriage you are, you are pleasing some audience somewhere that is clapping at you. You are a powerful person. You are holding things together. You did not run away. <laughs> you are full of all these notions. Mm. And you realize you are dying. Mm. It took a lot of courage to work out. So you can't work out and just succumb there. Sometimes when you see that an affair has happened, it's because it's, 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 it's a spillover of stressors inside. Mm -hmm. And true, the guys who try to cheat with you when they're married, they create that narrative. We are not even working. We are sleeping in different bedrooms. We are actually for, we are there for the children. We are planning of going our separate ways. We have already agreed. What? <laughs> hey. We create all this yeah. to perceive that you actually have a chance. It's a whole doctrine. You know, and it's a, the hundreds of years old, and I give them big hours. <laughs> Stop bringing me these old lies. I used to them. <laughs> Wake up. They're old lies. Yeah. But it's a doctrine. It is. They have even Bible verses you to know, boost what they're saying. Yeah. You know, for the sake of the children, and, you know, and, you know, uh, <laughs> we've even agreed people should have their life, each to have their life out there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and when you get involved after you get a child, you realize you are just a victim number four. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that that was all. <laughs> you, know, you can join the statistics. There's no magic. Yeah. <laughs> you, know? you know, even this thing of, I wish I had met you when I was before I got married. Such an old lie. You know. And, yeah. But it is still very flattering. Yeah. It's they're telling you you're better than the one they have. Lucky is the person who get you. Where? I admire them. I envy. <laughs> You know, I wanted to ask you something. Yes, this thing of we have allowed each other with my spouse to just go out there and and do our own thing. We don't police each other. I've given her the freedom, mm. and you know, me being the guy, and she's given me the freedom. Mm. Uh, superficially, it may look. Why like do you interject in the middle of the sentence? Would you mind calling her now? I hear that. Yeah, right there. Right, <laughs> right there in the middle. <laughs> but in a marriage situation, that, that, that is true what you said. In a marriage situation, the trust, the giving each other full trust thing, does it work? Full trust, as in? As in, I allow my husband to go and do whatever he wants as long as, like one, one man told me that his wife gives him condoms and tells him, please just protect the family. You know, make sure you don't bring diseases. Whatever you do out there, I don't want to know. And the same freedom he gives to his wife. That's not marriage. That's not marriage. And there's no family to protect. They're raising children who become homosexuals and lesbians who will hate marriage with a passion. They know you are not in love. Don't care about each other. And you can't hide children. What you're doing out there, children are better in technology than you every day. Your children are always younger and the upcoming technology is more closer to them than you. Uh -huh. Whatever you're doing and philandering out there, they can find out easier than you can hide. But the philandering is just philandering. The two are committed to each other. They're not committed. You can't say committed when you're still taking the same energy out there. That's, a, that's a, a, an oxymoron. Uh -huh. Contradiction of terms. Uh -huh. okay. If you are committed, you'll be exclusive. Commitment means exclusivity. Yes. It is suggests absolute yes. loyalty. Okay. There's no such thing as commitment while you are still loose out there to do what you want. Mm. All you can say is that we are involved, we are entangled. That's a better term. There's <laughs> <laughs> no commitment there. Okay. So some people are so defeated, some women are so weak and afraid. Mm -hmm. They have no existence out there the marriage. They will agree to everything. Mm. To just remain in the marriage. Yes. And even when you give him condoms, many of them say they don't want to eat a sweet inside the wrapping. That's how they perceive yes. condoms and protection. And the moment they feel like they love a woman they trust, they trust fully that she cannot be doing that. We trust each other. He will still bring the diseases. Mm. So there's no such thing as polyamory, many union, many people, da, 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 da. Mm. human nature. Love is exclusive. Love requires me only, you only. Yeah. I cannot love you when there's there. But that does not mean people cannot be in things, entanglements that they are labeling marriage. Marriage. 
that they're labeling family. Mm -hmm. I'm the one handling those children and the bitterness they have. Oh, no. The bitterness they have, the mm -hmm. hatred and resentment they have about their parents is out of this world. And many of them have reached a place where you can't talk to them. You cannot talk to them. Mm -hmm. They have despised everything. They have forgotten and they don't want to. And they're trying any other system of life, any other system. Not marriage. Not this heterosexual marriage. It was, is it the one I saw with my parents? Fake, fakeness, and they are going to church there, pretending to be singing, pretending yeah. to be Christian, and I know what they're doing at home. And these men, when they, they go for the young, hot blood, eh? so they go for the age of their children. Yeah. People, their children know. And so you're putting me in an embarrassment with my colleagues. Imagine. And somebody texting you, you don't know that you're supposed to call me your mom, your colleague, <laughs> insulting you that you're supposed to call. <laughs> Hey, hey. What degree yeah. of insult? That's an insult. <laughs> a real one. Yeah. You, you, you know. From uh, the dad, and there's nothing I can do about yes. it. Yes. Yeah. So w when you see that Muse next, what will you feel? Who is making your age mates out there tell you, you respect me, I'm your mother? <laughs> hey, hey, yeah, I hear you. I hear you. So what people are calling or oh, open, it's just distortion. It's so selfish. Mm -hmm. It damages children so badly. The best thing you can do when the marriage is not working is to separate ways and co-parent. The children will respect that when you have different lives. Yes. They feel like they can respect both of you. Not when you're forcing issues and you're not even talking. There's no chemistry. Yeah. You can't fake chemistry. We don't argue. We don't show it to children. You can't hide. Even a child in your womb can feel when you're not happy. When you're not love. In your womb. What about the one who's walking around here saying, we don't call in front. They don't know. They have no idea. Until when they're five, they're asking you, and eh, mom, why have you stayed here? Five. Yeah. Who can hardly talk can say you're not happy. <laughs> Why are we here? <laughs> you know, a child who does not talk can think better than you. <laughs> the first sentence is, why are we here? <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. they're also wondering. They can't talk. They can't even make the sentence. Mom, and why? Why? Why, why here? <laughs> why are we here? <laughs> yeah. Everybody knows when you're faking. Yeah, that's true. You are the one who is so deluded. You think you're deceiving yeah. us. Oh. <laughs> you have deceived yourself. But you think people yeah. are buying the deception. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And many of the times when I'm when I'm helping adult children of mm -hmm. those kind of marriages, they have to cry the tears mm -hmm. of the betrayal and the confusion. Mm -hmm. And I tell you the truth, the agony is excruciating. Mm -hmm. The agony of knowing my dad stayed when mom was so unstable, psychotic, and harassing him. And man, the weakness I saw with that man, I don't know what to make of this world. I don't know where is who is safe. Yeah. I can't trust women. Mm -hmm. Doing the things my mom took my dad through, I can't trust. Yeah. I cannot. Knowing that the guy I know is also a sidekick to my mom. These things happen. Men don't talk much, but when they talk, mm. they, they are human. They're experiencing life just as women. Women are just more freedom to talk. Yeah. They are more emotionally in touch with themselves. Yes. Men are going to vent in alcohol, in beer. In bars. You know? Yeah. One reason men go on a, ra on a rampage to sleep with many women, bang all of us, because they're angry with women. You may not expect it, but their mother hurt them badly. Yeah. They're angry. Mm. They can't trust any emotionally, but they have sexual needs. Mm. So they try to make their sexual need, get their sexual needs met in you know, a that is violent, forceful, and un unfeeling. Mm. And, and for not healing, we said what you don't heal from, you die from. Mm. The first question whether the marriage has a future is, were there big issues in the marriage and are you willing to work on them, both of you? Question number, uh, the question number two is what Max Lucado said that. Relationships don't last because the guilty are punished, but because the wounded are merciful. You who has been hurt, mm. are you merciful? Some people have sworn, if a person cheats, <laughs> uh -huh. to fear, yeah. they have said, over my dead body. Yeah. <laughs> so uh -huh. it, it may happen, and for them it's, a, it's no negotiation. They are gone. Mm. But if you're merciful to say, let me understand, what, even if I walk out, mm. should I learn a lesson? Because sometimes you walk out of marriage, but can you walk out of life? You still be in this world and the same situation may come back. Yeah. Always try to learn from everything that happens. Mm. Try to look back and see if you can carry a lesson or two. Whether you're staying or you're moving forward in the same marriage or you are whatever, you need to know what was that. Yeah. So when the wounded allows to listen to what happened, there's a chance. Okay. And when the offender 
is willing to give up their ways. Mm, yes. Many people uh, were caught while still in love with the affair, uh, and they, they were not ready to change. They even feel interrupted, and they give a very superficial apology. Okay, sorry then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a thing that a lot of couples struggle with. They are not ready to change. Mm. They even feel angry that you're interrupting. And they can turn around and physically beat you up for asking them. Their ego blows up because you're interrupting. They don't care about you and you are nobody in their life. They turn their hostility to you. They counter blame and quarrel you for hours till you're confused. Yeah. And you caught them in cheating. And they turn the story around. And then you go to your to your mother or your auntie and, and the, the auntie tells you, you know, men should not you should not ask a man like that. You you should not just ask a man a question. And now you're confused properly. They're asking you to tolerate abuse so just so that you can prove that you're marriageable. Yeah. The idea of being a woman is to be able to endure abuse. And have no boundaries and self-respect. Mm. You entered a monogamous marriage, but they're asking you to begin to tolerate and don't check his phone. You should not check what he's doing. Don't follow his communication. Don't don't, don't be too snooping. As long as he comes home to you, you're the one he marries. The other one he does not love them. He's just passing time with yeah. them. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the doctrine. As long as he comes home to you, does he beat you? Does he provide? So he does not beat me and he may provide. But we're asking, what do you want? What marriage do you want yourself? Mm -hmm. The reason I don't want you to consult relatives, the last people to tell you about your marriage is relatives. They'll never see you in the light of the woman you are. They'll always oh. see that girl they needed to guide. Let's tell you how life works. Don't ask those questions. Just sit there and keep quiet. Mm. Relatives never see you true. in the person you become. Mm. Few. If you are lucky to have one or two yeah. who see you in the true light of your value, of your worth, mm. you're lucky. Relatives are the last people to acknowledge you. Ah, they don't even call you Lily. There's a, they have a can name. They have a can name. <laughs> a village name. They are calling you after another woman who you resemble your name that something. <laughs> they reduce you to that child now. Who they used yeah. to show the way around. Yeah. Now you sit here. Listen, yeah. go back. Mm. <laughs> you know? Yeah. But when you go to a professional who can see you in the package you are. Mm -hmm. And the honor you walk in. Mm -hmm. And they can see what happened vis-a-vis. -vis who is being treated that way? Yeah. That's a more accurate advisor. Yes. They can see who you are and the energy you're putting forward. Not some people are stuck on. You see this that guy. Remember even the first you see the first now you Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's it's to say sometimes if you're merciful and the person is committed. So the word is merciful and remorseful. Mm. The wounded is merciful. Mm. The offender is, mas uh, is, is remorseful. Uh, 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 I saw this quote, somebody saying, God will not deliver you from a devil you are still in love with. Hmm. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> we want to be delivered from those devils. We can't walk away. <laughs> you know, and you say, sometimes you are mouth is pray, oh God, get me away from this thing. But your heart say, but not right now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's what happens. <laughs> you know? So many people have been caught, but they're still in that fog. Still yeah. in that pleasure thing. Yeah. And they start giving excuses. You know, there's already this, a child, it's already this. I'll walk away out, just give me time. I'll face the matter out, just, just, just. The, what's that? <laughs> there for, there's already a child. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, that's mind boggling. You know, yeah. and they want you to just uh, be patient. And then they make it a conversation. And you, because you had invested so much, you entertain to think, to, to, and you forget your boundaries where they are. And you go along with it. And then you start writing weird things online. This guy has been cheating for 10 years. Yeah. Does not talk to me nicely. Let him come home. The moment he started cheating, what else do you expect? The moment a person brings a third party, what you had come in has died. What you had signed up for is dead. Mm. I remember these things we are advising those people who are officially married. Oh. Okay. I know that group you care about it. Yeah. And let me send you to them. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you are a spokesperson. 
<laughs> you understand them. I'm sure yeah. you know them. And you see how genuine they are sincere. You know, we had to go home the other day and then suddenly came up, COVID, <laughs> then we postponed. But then I was pregnant with it and then the money had gone. We saved the other year. But, uh, but and then now you see now we are year eight and the other the child needed fees and then uh, suddenly we were about to go to my grandma but before we buried and now we postponed and now by the other year, now it's okay fifteen years. But uh, you see now because of the other we said it's okay. Let's just after that but for now <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. I keep Benjamin. Hey, when well, you listen how people got here, the drama. <laughs> you know, yeah. I even had even taken a chama loan for us to facilitate, it, but then he said loan is not uh, advisable, it's not good for us, it's shameful. So now I have not even paid that loan, and then he said he will get save money, but then he lost his job. That job, now we are trying to reapply the other one. Me, I didn't, we said he said this problem, but now we needed a house. I keep uh, my children. <laughs> When you listen to the story of how people end up here, 20 years with no paper, 20 years nothing for more. <laughs> and then this after the other, after the other, after the other. <laughs> and then after all that, now he's cheating. <laughs> after the epidemic. <laughs> hey. That group I care about you and there is hope for you. <laughs> so after the drama series... Series 18. <laughs> no, 19 is about. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you followed 18 episodes? <laughs> yeah. 19th episode is about now? Cheating. <laughs> <laughs> but he's cheating on who? Hey, see his <laughs> wife, Benjamin. You're not wife. For all intents and purposes, I Intents am. and purposes. Even the law said. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh. You are just a wannabe wife. Where? An aspiring wife. So, uh, it's an aspirant. Where? <laughs> <laughs> Let me introduce you to the contest. Where? There are several horses to this race. And unfortunately, mm -hmm. another horse <laughs> Where? has appeared. Has appeared. <laughs> so, as we discuss about an affair, remember we are not talking about a person moving away from the thing you had that had no structure. You have no grounds. Okay. 20, 23 year old, 23 are particularly naive. It's only love that matters. As long as you love each other, I don't think paper art matters. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I just want to trust each other. Paper art makes no difference. You know, if a man wants to cheat, it's cheat, cheat, cheat. What's the point? Cheat, 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 cheat. <laughs> <laughs> they don't like a bird. They're very eloquent, but very stupid. You know, some people have a very eloquent mouth, but the brain is very empty. I don't know why. Some people's mouth is quicker. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I saw one, and the interview, he was looking at an angle. So, let me enter you know, as long as I don't know what this society imposes so many conditions and me, I think love should just flow and you know uh, not, not so many conditions and you know as long as you love each other for me that's all, you know everybody has their way of looking at it you know can look at it <laughs> so maybe they started looking at it okay when they started that and they were just <laughs> this could be the group hey. they're just looking at it yeah it's a way you, it depends on the way you look at it from where I see it for me I see it differently <laughs> yeah <laughs> for me I see it differently <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> we should accommodate all perspectives. And Proverbs told you do not move an ancient boundary before you knew why it was put there. Mm. The reason we put commitments is so that if people want to walk out, there's a cost. When you live in a home where there's no fence and people can just step in and out. Mm. Okay? The reason you put commitments is that you have something to build on. Mm. You have something to know that this person can put their commitment to paper. So writing and co conversing to the public is psychological. It is a psychological pressure and demand to reflect whether this is what you want. Mm. When you demand that you will only do some things after that ceremony, many people will chicken out and they'll have saved you 20 years of stories. Yeah. You yeah. know, you can become a storyteller without, going, without studying it in school yes. because you have a chronology of events of, from the which happened in year one. Where? Uh, and, 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 and hardly believable coincidences. By the time you're 760, you have a book, voluminous book. <laughs> of telling everybody how we ended up here. It's a long story. And how not to. And everyone is reading the book and thinking, yeah. 
<laughs> the moment you compromise once, compromise twice. Now that you agree to, now that you are pregnant, let's get a child first. Can you also get a second child? So that at least by that time, we, we, we are done. But children are still too young. <laughs> they go to school. But now you see the school fees. How about after we start our business? Let's set up, we'll get the money from there. Uh, and then we can, that business is not, can you us close that, let's, let's pay that loan first. But you see now, the parents even at home, situations are not perfect. Okay, okay, okay. What about the group that later formalized it? It depends on whether the formalization was psychological or just physical and supervision. Some people go there so for you to stop nagging them and even pay your own dowry. Those are the women who pay their own dowry. <laughs> okay, okay, let's, let's now put those aside. What about the ones for if you, it was If you formalize, on, there are many people who have formalized and they have gone on well. Okay. They intended, they pressed on it, and it worked. Okay. You're not saying nobody has done it. But you're saying the risk is so high, you've the surrendered all high. the power. Yeah. And should the person switch on you and see another person with better lips, I understand people fall in love with anything. <laughs> Your lips, you know, a little bit compared. <laughs> They're thicker. Or oh, maybe yours are very thick. And he was looking for thinner ones. That nose of yours, I... <laughs> when people decide to degrade you, they can focus yeah. on anything. Anything. <laughs> Eyelashes, <laughs> eyebrows, <laughs> anything. You know, your ears. And you're listening. The same eyes they used to praise. <laughs> you know. So the 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 that the that rule whether this has a chance is the the commitment to start afresh. You cannot continue the marriage to yourself after an affair. It is not existing. Mm. The trust has been crushed. And your people say after the glass has been broken, you can't repair it. And I tell them, in Japan, they had this custom of mending broken vessels yes. using a gold like a thesis. Yeah. So that after it is mended, look at it, it was decorated. Yeah. Where the crack was, now it's gold. Mm. Sometimes, I, 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 I was giving a concept to my brother Bramwell the other day, telling him, men marry twice. Mm -hmm. Um socially and psychologically. Uh -huh. And the social marriage happens in a wedding. But the psychological one sometimes happens after the affair. Oh. I've seen a lot of men, it took a shock mm. for them to stop the bachelor energy. Yes. Entertaining every woman. Flirting here. Yeah. Open there. Mm. Giving money over there. Mm. Talking to everyone. Staying out late. Mm. You know, having to be reminded everything. Not present mentally, not changing to a father, not leading the family, still scattered, still valuing the family and the friends more. The energy of a single scattered man dominates his life until mm. something happens and he's losing. Mm. Learn to walk away. You may be the initiator of the baptism that will convert that person ah, to a partner now. All right. Stop forcing to stay. You may be delaying their rock bottom. Some people must hit rock oh, bottom yeah. to wake up. Stop delaying. Sometimes you walk out, not as a, a tool of argument, but to say, now that I can't tolerate this and this person is not cooperative, let me just accept my losses and go start another life as yeah. well. While you're on your way, going away, they come begging and rolling on the floor. That's when you renegotiate. So okay. after an affair, if the person, you're the one who did it, you're supposed to regroup and see what you did, it, why you did it, and whether you can genuinely promise to change. And then you start working to win the other person's trust. Be more open with them, be listen to their to moaning, they lost some. They lost a sense of specialness. Mm. They lost how the world functions. They are, co they are confused that love is worth it. Whether they can actually trust, are they fools now? What else don't they know? Do they even know who you are? So they are battling the questions. And mm. a lady called Janice has written a book called After the Affair and listed all the losses you go through. You lose, you lose how you see the world, how you see love, how you see yourself. You okay. can even lose your identity. Yes. And so that person is battling questions. And the shortest time, uh, sometimes affair involves sex. Sometimes affair involves emotional connectedness you took your feelings to another person and a lot of information sometimes it's not just the feelings oh. the conversations you had about me with me inside is a topic the names you called me you know that dog oh yeah <laughs> 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 the degrading yes gorilla has come back oh no <laughs> the, 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 the things you say that you regret marrying me or i'm not enough for you or you mm. wish you'd met that person if your partner is telling another lady he wishes he had seen her before seeing mm. you what is the message there no, you're no longer the choice. Yeah. Prefer, he's just stuck with you. Yeah. He may have been saying that to please that other woman. Men are capable of lying mm. to win there when they don't mean it over here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and they're caught in the light. Yeah. No, 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 no. I can't just talk here. I swear. 
and even they can bring that other girl to say I was lying to you. <laughs> 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 and call don't call me again nyanya, 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 in your hearing <laughs> yeah to, to <laughs> you prove know, to you you know so where, how to repair is that it will take this person sometimes the same time it takes to grieve a dead a dead loved one mm. usually it's a period of 12 months when you're working on it instant constantly for the bleeding to stop okay. and now you can carry on the life many people it's 12 months minimum when it was um a betrayal of trust mm -hmm. so you may be hearing it frequently yeah. For the 12 months. Mm -hmm. But you say it after the year has gone, or even another year, and you see enough time has passed, but this person is holding you to the cross, ask yourself whether there's any hope anymore. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the one who is forgiven may be the one who works out as well. Okay. When the one who forgave wants to hold you hostage. Yes. Forever. Yes. yes. Or they also start cheating, or they start mistreating you, they start mm. putting you down, they start degrading you. You shall not allow undignified treatment for okay. any reason. For any reason. For any reason, yes. I've got two questions. Yes. One is there are those people who are stuck in the negotiation process because the person who cheated is does not give a clear acknowledgement of what they did. So they acknowledge and then they put but it's because you know and many other side mm. side comments and statements around it. And so this person who was offended get stuck in that negotiation because they're feeling like okay you're acknowledging you're saying you want to change but there's an element where you're not acknowledging mm. so where do you draw the line yeah if you if you feel an, if you given an ambiguous apology yeah that's it um i did that but you also push i yeah. did that but yeah somebody should just own responsibility and say i should have stayed we resolve our issues or we resolve the marriage because when it's ambiguous, I'm not entirely sure. Whether you've stopped. It's like you've created a, a loophole you yes. can later go so through. So don't accept conditional apologies. Okay. And continuation of the affair that we are trying to wind things down. We are closing down like a company. Now we are taking time to slow the things down. I can't just check out like that. If you can continue associating with me, it's because as a baby, I should not be in the picture. Okay. Remember, if you have gotten children, you are the mother to the children. Mm -hmm. But you don't have to be my wife. You're already cheating. Yeah. I'll go out there. Let's let's co-parent. The relationship with the children is permanent. Mm. The relationship with me and you is not permanent. It's mm. conditional. Mm. So when it is con when it is ambiguous, not committed, they're not cutting links immediately. They're not on your on their knees and mm. saying I'm willing to start repairing. You're wasting your time. Okay. Yes. The second one is co-parenting. If uh, if the cheater got a child out of it or children out of it, and now they have to co-parent, how does that work so that the cheater is able to convince the offended that there is nothing going on other than co-parenting. To involve them in handling the child. Okay. Let your partner be the one in front. Even if you are the lady and there is this child it got in over there and the, 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 although men sometimes don't coexist well. Is either let me be the father or the other person should be the father. Mm. Because this is my domain. I don't want another man hovering in my domain. Yeah. Your womb, my woman, my home, that's my space. There cannot be another. That, that's, 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 that's the disaster of getting children out here carelessly, sleeping with your boyfriend, get pregnant, get a child thinking, then you're left there as a single mother, then you find a good man. While the other guy is peacefully co-parenting, but this good man does not want another man hovering in your life. Yeah. But this child requires a relationship with their father. Yeah. Do they, do I survive that? And will this one play, will they connect? What, what do, or the other baby daddy is not totally present. He's not there. Mm. But this man does not connect with the child either. <coughs> or the child does not want them. Becoming a single mother intentionally is the highest recklessness a woman can do. Having a sex with a man just because you're a boyfriend yeah. is the highest kind of recklessness you can, you can do on yourself. Because once you, once you get a child, negotiating when he's a good baby daddy or a bad baby daddy will be difficult either way. Yeah. Whether he is present or absent, it will be difficult. Yeah. <laughs> it affects you either and way. And if it's a son, mm. this is a problem number three. <laughs> because there's a man in your life now. Yes. That's a man. You think it's a boy, my baby. It's a man. He can decide he doesn't like me too much. And I should not order him around. In any case, I'm not his father. And then he may go to look for his people later. Because <laughs> he has decided these are not my people. <laughs> you know. It's very delicate <coughs> negotiation. The only reason a man who marry a woman as a child is 
as a package, this woman is what I need in this life. Everything else will work them out. Mm. Don't put your child forward. Put your character forward. Oh, okay. Okay. What is compelling, what will make a man marry you is, that's the girl I want. She really, she takes me to a place of thinking, of feeling. She completes me. Mm. And although she has a son, we'll work it out. Okay. Then you work out a formula. How do you handle this boy? How do you let me... Because many of them get, or you get enmeshed because you came from a war with this boy. The father mistreated you, and you got so enmeshed. My son, any time a person tries to mention my child, you are crying, crying to God. You know, you have this thing of just catching us, like you catch us red-handed. <laughs> I've seen women swearing by yeah, their ancestors. Yeah, that's what happens, yeah. <laughs> Don't this, judge my son. This guy just wanted to see how he can get involved, mm. and how you should actually converse and say, because I came from war with this boy. Our attachment may, may go beyond ordinary. I don't want to mm. abandon him because mm. we have sworn that we'll mm. be a, with each other's back. We'll, we'll, we'll watch out mm. <laughs> for each other. Mm. And we don't know where I came from him. But I want to do life with you. Mm. Help me. <laughs> you know, mm. when you see that I'm... When you trust each other, yeah. we can tell. You have always been in each other's hands. Now I want you to hand over the child to another helper for us to be in each other's hands. Mm. And you're not bringing him between us at night. But I feel like we've digressed. We're talking yes. about this infidelity thing. Correct. Within marriage. And, and you asked about co-parenting. So we're yeah. saying co-parenting works when we are committed to each other and we are willing to cut links, even if it's the other baby daddy, either ah. give him the son oh. or yeah. let the son, let me, let me be the dad. When he becomes a grown-up, mm. he can choose whether to go to the other. Okay. All right? Okay. Yes. All right. Thank you all for watching, and I just want to make a shout out to our live audience, to Nawaona Sana, Sharon, Rebecca, J Events TV, and many others. We love you so much. Thank you for watching. Bye. This is the Benjamin Zulu Global. Welcome our viewers from all over the world to the home of the Heart Mothers. We are converging to learn together because when you know better, you can do better. And a better life is what we all want. Better work life. Better for